International House of Burgers. Oh, yeah! <laughs> It's kind of the move that broke the internet. IHOP's PR stunt to change the pancake chain, uh, chain's name to IHOB from IHOP rocketed it to the top of the Twitter trending list. Turns out the B was for burgers, and it was just a temporary name change, but it sure got IHOP parent Dine Brands Global, which also owns Applebee's, a massive amount of attention. While the company reported earnings today, I want to know from Dine Brands Global CEO Steve Joyce whether all that attention translated into higher sales. It did, and two, a couple things happened. One is we taught a new generation that the P stands for pancake, because they didn't know, a lot of them. And secondly, we quadrupled the number of burgers we're selling, and that's continuing. And both lunch and dinner part sales went up significantly. So for us, it was great. We had a lot of fun with it. So did everybody else. Some people took it a little seriously, but it was, it was very fun, and it I've been asking several people, have you ever seen anything like it? And everybody's like, I don't think so. The numbers are just astonishing. But it just goes to show, nobody likes IHOP. Everybody loves IHOP. And so, you know, to suggest a name change, which we did for fun, and we were never serious about it, but it, everybody had... Almost everybody had a lot of fun with we it. We did the story. Yeah. I mean, it, it was eye grabby. So, I mean, that, that kind of spark plug blows once, though. So, uh, so yeah, yeah. And we, didn't, and we didn't expect that either. But it, but it was a lot of fun. So, what lasting. changes did you make to make your burgers more attractive? So, we went, we did a lot of consumer research on what is the best tasting burger our customer wanted. And then we did that, chose the burger based on that, which is an amazing uh, Angus um, burger that, mm -hmm. that we then have six flavor profiles which were all consumer insight. You know, we went and asked our guests, what are the flavors you want from us? And we built those, and the result has been phenomenal. You're taking on burgers at a time when it's not just Wendy's or McDonald's. It's Five Napkin Burger, Bear Burger, Burger Fi, the fast casual burger world that's trying very hard here, certainly in Manhattan and, and New Jersey, where, where I live, that, you know, they're real quality beef. But it also comes at a time where the price of beef appears to be coming down. There's so much stockpiled here because of trade problems. We've got freezer fulls of the stuff in the Midwest. Yep. Does that help you or hurt well, you? Well, food costs for our brands have been great over the last several years. And so, and while the field is crowded and we were, we needed to have a great burger, mm -hmm. but we introduced that, the, the burger at a six ninety nine price point with Coke and a fries. And that clearly resonated with our guests, and, and it filled the restaurants, and people are excited about the burger, and the numbers are, are really good. And it just, you know, I think the fact that we did it with a little tongue-in-cheek piece, mm -hmm. and we're known for being a little irreverent anyway, and so it, it was just fun. And it just, it's, you know, it's a great place time to be at the company, because both brands are doing extraordinary well. Uh, the stock is up uh, pretty astronomically, better by, what, 73% year over year when the s and is up only 13, only, but 13%. So you've really yeah. spiked here and done very well. I have to ask because, you know, TGI Fridays was bought by private equity. Are you guys a takeover target? Uh, <laughs> look, every company I've ever worked at, I've always said we're for sale. We're not for sale at this price because our shareholders are expecting big things from us. And we went to the market last February and mm -hmm. we said, Here's what you should expect from us over the next five years. And, you know, we're, we're quite the value still at this point. We're an aggressive buyer of our stock. We reported that again. So we think it's a great, you know, it's a great investment, and we're doing it ourselves. Well, your only problem is you did not bring props. Um, there are props I coming next time. I needed a pancake. We, we, we actually, you know, ha <laughs> we haven't seen each other in a while, and I clearly would have greeted you with a gift card. So that will, <laughs> next visit we'll definitely have one. I need the real thing. And, you I know, need a gift card. Actually, we thought about doing that. It, it, a few complications, but we've done it before. Good to see you. Great to see Steve you. Steve Joyce, thank, you, for thank you very much.